Welcome back to another VFX tutorial and this time I wanted to show you something special which is the scan line or the CRT effect and for that I will go and give you a very very quick introduction to the good old dinosaur technology with it, which is the CRT TV so this is one we still could write on dinosaurs the good old times but of course that stuff is obsolete technology then of course here we go into the newer technology which is uh, well I mean basically everything so you have that in smartphones uh, TVs and monitors that stuff is old but it has some relevancy uh, for well let's call it the older generation because they were used to this kind of stuff in Nintendo or Super Nintendo games and therefore we will recreate something in Game Maker Studio because while well, this is a channel about this and of course a quick history and uh, how we can well do this very very fast here and recreate it so stay tuned this is one up indie I am the developer of the indie game clunky source and the programmer slash pixel artist so if you are new here and you definitely want more consider subscribing to my channel because I try to upload every second day every day a video what else this is YouTube after all and share that stuff that would be sweet so let's get right into the good stuff so in what you're seeing in front of you it's just basically the old style RCT TV and if that doesn't ring a bell well this is the bulky old ones which had like a fat bag and they were getting kind of hot when you use them so when you just switch them off because their technology was kind of different than well the modern standard so basically what you did here you had a game you fired it up uh, on both and well on the CRT TV it actually looked like this why did it look like this well because there was a standard which was called 480i which stands for interlaced and you basically had well only half of those pixels were getting sent to the TV and the other ones were well kind of blacked out but even though maybe uh, you think like okay then you had like a black line then a line of pixels that didn't look like it because you had some color bleeding between those uh, well uh, places where you actually had a pixel and you didn't have one and then therefore it didn't look too bad after all so this old 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 dinosaur technology it's it's actually not that kind of old well it is it is very old but um, what you had you just had a uh, ray tube which was just firing electrons uh, at the front of the screen and then there were some phosphors which depending how many how much electrons you were firing in there we were creating a color and then you had for each pixel a, a green a red and a blue so R G B and then they were mixing a new color and then you had one pixel on your screen this is how it looked like and of course if you come to the newer technology the LCD the liquid crystal display so yay we love crystals no idea what crystals are because they are liquid ones not sure how that actually looks like in, in practice but this is kind of a similar approach but here you have a back light then you have uh, once again RGB uh, well crystals so you have let's say a light which goes through filters which are called polarizers you don't need to remember anything about this this is just so you understand very very roughly what this how you create a color in here so you had let's say a backlight then it was going through here and saying hey uh, go through those kind of filters which are those polarizers then we go through our gray crystal which is green now or blue or whatever you like it to be and then well you had some kind of electrodes which were just controlling that thing and then in the end you got a color which was coming out and then it looked like this yeah and this is just basically the new technology so this is for the history lesson yeah 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 still old technology bye bye but um, in, in, a, in a sense this old technology actually didn't look too bad first of all the colors were pretty good so this is the thing which a, a lot of uh, old school designers still have RTV or, or R, uh, CRT um, monitors because those monitors have more vibrant colors but of course this is getting heated and 
it's getting quite warm and the, the, the technology is uh, sucking lots of energy and of course this one the, the, the crystals are definitely superior in almost every regard besides the color vibrancy here the, CR, uh, the CRT TV is still a winner but maybe in the future it will be well completely obsolete because almost nobody uses it so the first thing which for example let's fire this up so what I did here is just basically this is a screenshot just as a background put in here and then I have different kind of approaches how you can actually do this this is my favorite one it looks kind of subtle so here is the original one here uh, you have this kind of scan lines then you have a more bulky version and then you have kind of a realistic one because this is another um, thing how you can set it up so the first one is kind of easy to do you just have three pixels and the first one you do black and you save it of course as a PNG ah, come on let's recreate it and make one black then we copy this one because well we need it again but this one then we put down and then you give it we give it opacity let's say 40% and then you have a repeating pattern no then transparent and of course then invisible pixel which is behind and then of course we can well, see all that is and then I basically import it so this is what I call ne 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 scan line this is the same thing for example if we edit it yay nothing special and what do we do we just basically put an object in here this is very very small let's win yes this is this guy here we just put him in and we repeat it so let's kill that thing and I don't know 450 times and then we just say hey our scan line and then because we want to have it multiple times downwards so uh, we just say 450 times downwards plus i plus three that just means hey we're having one and zero and they're just going beneath each other and then of course because it's just one pixel we stretch it to the right 1000 times and then for example once we start it we can uh, actually have our result already finished so here as you can see already looks kind of neat the, for example what you could do and this is a thing which I am not a fan of of course you can uh, make that thing like this so make it a hard scan line so we kill it and so basically you have a black one and a white one but I think this definitely looks better um, that way of course you have to repeat this uh, loop 450 times every uh, step which is kind of intense and therefore I would recommend doing this uh, well sprite and just making a new one which is the same but uh, well <laughs> a few times repeated and therefore you save definitely a few resources this is the same thing just stacked upon each other and of course if you want to have it a little bit more realistic so this is this guy here then I've seen it for example this is let's say four by four a complete black circle and then a grayish one and of course you cannot put it in 100% because this wouldn't be looking too good you do uh, well now you have to do two loops and um, well repeat them quite a few times so this is a thing of course if you want to shortcut it a little bit you have to well uh, no not 4000 times that would be quite a lot if you want to make it a little bit more less resource intense then of course you would uh, create in photoshop this thing once and then make a big pattern and then repeat the pattern because then it is more efficient but well i just leave it to you of course here i just do a double loop so i guess you need to you understand how that works because now because this thing is not uh, let's say one dimensional so for example it has not a width of one pixel it has two therefore you need to have a double loop repeated on the horizontal and on the vertical space and then for example if you kill this dude here then we get let's say it a more realistic looking way um, I use it at the bottom left corner because I aligned it like this let's make it a little bit easier so let's go for zero 
repeat it a lot of times this is just for demonstration purposes so you actually see it and let's go for 300 by 300 quite a lot of uh, k2 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 here we go nope. no 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 this is wrong because well this is for the vertical and this is horizontal my bad and then you give it a opacity of not one because if you go for one this would look kind of overwhelming because most of the space is then well not visible doesn't look too good as you can see Whoa! not the best idea and therefore you need to give it some softer opacity and then well you get this in quotations more realistic version of that so this is just basically it and as you can see it looks kind of smooth and of course you will never can never really emulate this bleeding in between colors because actually you could do it with some shaders and some complicated math but i wanted to show you the easy way so as you can see this already looks pretty nice and the positive effect besides um having this retro feel to it is that some things appear sharper than they actually are because here you have some pixel art but for example if you put it through those scan lights uh, for example the soldier and the background appears to be actually looking better even though you're having less of a picture in total so just keep that in mind and this is what scan lights are good for just a visual extra representation of the good old pixel art games and for example if you would run those old games not on a CRT TV but on the modern ones and then you will see that those sprites look kind of flat and not as appealing like say like the, on the good old CRT TVs and therefore this stuff is being emulated in video games artificially because it has some merit and it is still being used today so that technology uh, even though maybe obsolete so the, the monitor so this guy over here but still the CRTs are being artificially put into the game even though this stuff is just basically it should be gone but sometimes uh, uh, one with a game with uh, those scan lines can actually look better and for example if you're having some rough edges then <laughs> you can actually do uh, kind of you know make it appear better than it actually is because this is the one of the interesting facts about video games if you would see most of those video games without shaders those visual effects without bloom effects and all that stuff then they don't look as good as you have them in your memory because well they kind of imp improve the way games look so hopefully that was of interest to you and now you know how to recreate it so basically you just make one of those things or, th or the one which i showed you or this one which is kind of interesting but then give it less opacity this is just basically it put it in one object draw it of course if you want the full experience of course you can put in into a vignette if you don't know what a vignette is just basically the round thing which is just giving a, a blackish appearance now let's make it a little bit more vibrant so let's make it a little bit more stronger of course you need to watch out as you can see bam you now you have the <laughs> crt effect as well so because well this is how it looked like the corners were kind of a little bit more blackish because the crt had a round display at the front so this is one part and of course little thing just to note for example if your game is already quite dark then CRT doesn't look too good for example if we put it in here and as you can see this game already has a vignette and all that stuff put into the game then CRT is a nice addition but it is not as dominant as for example for the other one um, which I showed you here because here we have very vibrant colors and for example if you go in here not so much so hopefully that was something of interest to you and you know how to do that in Game Maker Studio or just generally for every other IDE. Have a good one. Wanna Bindi.